from pomp and circumstance to smiles and cheers. This year's commencement for the class of 2012 marked the end of four years of hard work and the closing ceremony of North Central College's sesquicentennial celebration. I'm part of a 150-year tradition of a liberal arts college that gives an opportunity to so many other people. The new alumni of North Central College walked the stage to receive their diplomas and stepped into their futures. It almost hasn't hit me yet. It's not quite real. I know that now I'm off into the real world to be a grown-up, but I guess I don't really know what that means yet. So I'm just excited to see what happens. It feels great. Like, the light, I finally see it at the end of that tunnel. Like, it's a wonderful feeling, a great accomplishment. Like, I don't know, you can't even describe it. It's a wonderful. <laughs> this year, over 100 students completed the requirements for advanced degrees and nearly 600 students earned bachelor's degrees, with over 100 graduating with honors. And for one student, walking that stage was a dream come true. I graduated from Naperville Central in 1987, and I was unable to be a part of my graduating class. I was unable to walk. Um, I graduated early, and so this is the first time that I actually get to wear a cap and gown. <laughs> I'm really excited about it. Sandra Lynn Richards. North Central College is dedicated to preparing students to be informed, involved, principled, and productive citizens and leaders over a lifetime. This mission fit right in with the commencement address this year. The college invited Aaron S. Williams, the director of the Peace Corps, to send graduates off into the world with words of wisdom and inspiration. Williams gave a call to action for students to become global citizens and create a positive impact no matter where they go. When people come together for common cause, we together can achieve extraordinary things. For the last 21 years, many might describe President Harold R. Willey's tenure as extraordinary. Early this year, Wilde announced his plans to retire and join the graduating class of 2012 in celebrating an end of a journey. For the students, he will be remembered for his easygoing style and everyone calling him Hal. His legacy will remain for years to come because of his absolute love and support for North Central and his care and attentiveness to students and their concerns. I'm certain that the class of 2012 will never forget receiving a friendly smile or wave from Hal as he walked around campus or grabbed a snack and his hat from Kaufman. Sometimes it's the little things that can make the largest impact in our lives, and for that, Hal, we thank you. In the past four years, the class of 2012 had the privilege of experiencing the expansion of the campus, winning championships, and celebrating the college's 150th anniversary. I think actually our graduating class has just been part of so many things lately. I mean, with Wentz opening up and ResRec, we've gotten, our class is a very lucky year in terms of that. It's pretty unbelievable seeing the transformation that's took place over these past four years, from everything from Wentz to ResRec. Um, the football program, you know, doing so well. It's, it's been an unbelievable ride. It feels fantastic. I, I really appreciate all the um, opportunities that North Central has given me. I mean, over the years, I've done so many fantastic things from traveling to Eastern Europe to researching my thesis. For North Central College, the day marked the culmination of a year-long sesquicentennial celebration. For the class of 2012, the day was bittersweet. They said goodbye to the school they love but became cardinals for life.